Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. There's a cinnamon bun. Cheers. You have to go outside. Feels kind of warm out today. Mm. He just wants to lay in the sun. <laughs> How come the only cereal I want is always empty? It's weird that someone admits they have no taste. <laughs> Should I have Honey Nut Cheerios or Honey Bunches of Oats? You're a Honey Bunch of Oats girl. Yeah, you're right. Um, I think right now me and my brothers are gonna go to this like outdoor mall area and walk around and try to find Christmas presents and like I don't know <laughs> we have nothing to do but we might go walk on the pier too that's what we're gonna do road there. trip oh my wow. god that was so loud where are we gonna go the ox cord is broken so I have to hold it I'm gonna ride but the devil follows where I go Should we go on the Ferris wheel? They're playing the Daisy and the Jones, Daisy, Daisy Jones and the Six song. You can no make way. a good thing bad on the Ferris wheel. I hope you can hear that. What the heck? I'm going to Annie Ann's. Can't walk past Annie Ann's without getting some. It really seems like that. Should we walk on the pier? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Guys, since when do they charge you to walk on the pier? Four dollars to walk to the end and come back. It's so quiet and peaceful. It's so warm. There's little kids swimming. Oh, that's a Someone built a snowman. Florida core. Get out of his way. You know we're running out of options of what to do and we decided to walk around Target. <laughs> we're literally just walking around. We're looking for an aux cord because we found out that our dad's doesn't work when we took his car. I don't know if they make them anymore. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, we just got back from walking around this like outdoor mall and stuff. I didn't really film that much. We were gonna get Christmas presents so then we didn't find anything. So we didn't buy anything. And now we're back and we have to get ready because we're going to my, my cousins on my dad's side, like my aunt and uncle live like 30 minutes away. So we're gonna go to their house. And my grandparents are drove all the way from New Jersey for Christmas. So the family is slowly starting to get here and we're gonna go over there and have pizza and dinner and stuff. So hopefully I can film. You guys know I'm awkward when I have to film around people. So I'll try my best. I really wish that we were staying home today because I want Anyway, what I was trying to say before it got interrupted is I wish I was staying home today because I suddenly have a strong inclination to watch My Life with the Walter Boys and everyone has been commenting asking me to watch it and I finally like feel the desire to. So maybe I'll do that tonight depending when we get home. Really haven't filmed anything today because I haven't done anything today. It's just been one of those days. We literally walked around Target out of boredom. Also today I've been like planning my top 23 books of 2023 video. I'm very excited about it. It was harder to plan than I thought it would be. Also, update on With Love from Cold World. Um, I'm only 3% in. I only read it yet last night, up to 3%, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> so, I can't update you on that. And my Heartstopper Volume 5 book still hasn't come. I think it's supposed to come tomorrow. Let me check. Yeah, tomorrow by 9 p.m. Also, for today's question of the day, I wanted to ask you guys to leave a link to your Amazon wish list. And I'm going to be sending a couple of you guys a book from your wish list as a Christmas gift or a holiday present, whatever you celebrate, just for the holidays. I thought I'd send you a book. So leave a link down below of your Amazon wish list and make sure there's books on there that you want to receive that are on your TBR. I'll go through and pick some people out to send books to. If you do leave a link, it will just be a surprise in the mail so make sure it's your correct address and stuff because it should show up at your door randomly also i just realized i still have to like finish wrapping all my family's gifts so maybe tonight i'll do that as well hopefully we get back early because i actually have shit i need to do and i want to be able to vlog i feel like i haven't vlogged anything it's already four o'clock and now we're going over there for dinner which i'm excited for because i really want some pizza my cousin's house is really nice they have a hot tub but i don't have a bathing suit and i also just like don't want to swim right now but they have a hot tub and it's right by the beach too it's like in the town over from where my parents houses so do you think it's socially accessible to wear my uggs or should i wear real shoes i'm the designated driver we have to get gas wait did you you put the new tank on this already did you? oh oh oh, oh. Yeah. there we go no. oh Back. 
photobomb your sunset there. Yeah, you have to introduce yourself. I'm at my cousin's house. We're setting up the table with a little fire. We have our pizza, sunset view. Yep. This is Zach. Make your grand entrance. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Steph's vlog. I'm Zach, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh wow, look at this ambiance. We have Christmas music, a fire, and pizza. Cheese, pepperoni, and cherry and caramel. Look how cool the sky looks. No, in the camera. <laughs> Guys, look how cute. The glare. Oh. Zach is getting crushed. Well, no, it's some There's so many swings. A golf cart? You have a golf cart? Oh. We're about to walk our grandparents' home. Oh my god, the lighting's atrocious. I haven't filmed literally anything today, but we're leaving now. Oh my god, I'm freezing. Shivers. But we just had dinner and now we're going back home. It's eight o'clock, so at least not too late. Okay, I just got home and I really wanted to start my life as my life with the Walter boys, but I think I decided I'm not going to tonight because it's already late and I feel like that's something I want to binge in one sitting. I don't know if I should save it for like the day after Christmas. Like that's kind of a day you just like stay home and do nothing, I feel like. Or I should save it, but I kind of want to talk to you guys about it. So maybe on like the 23rd, I, we could do that. I don't know, because I have stuff to do tomorrow. Honestly, maybe we could start tomorrow. I just feel like it's kind of too late to start right now. But what I do want to do is I kind of want to make a 2024 vision board on Pinterest. If you want to follow me on Pinterest, it's always linked down below, but I think I'm going to go on there right now and make one. I'm also on the last day of Vlogmas, going to like do my whole New Year's resolutions and stuff. So if you want to know my New Year's resolutions, you can wait till then, <laughs> but... I think I want to make a vision board. I don't think I've ever made a vision board except for when I went to Europe. I had one that was called like manifesting or something and everything on that board, wait, I actually want to go on it because I feel like more than half the stuff that I pinned on that board, like I actually, it actually came true. It's like stuff I did. It's so, like this was my, before I traveled and studied abroad, this was like my traveling goals and I went to like all of these places pretty much without even like meaning to. And I've gotten such similar pictures. Like, honestly, you could tell me that I took, like, half these photos. Like, I went to this exact spot. And I didn't even realize that this was on my vision board. Like, I honestly, I'm just realizing it right now. Look, I'm going to pull it up on my phone. Look. Oh, my God. That is insane. <laughs> like, that is just so crazy. I just feel like putting it in the universe like that makes it come true. And, like, I've done, like, half, like all of these places, I've stood in these exact spots and seeing these exact views and it's actually scary now that I'm really looking at it like it just came true without even trying like it just fell into place that way so I've never made like a vision board before but we're gonna make one right now does anyone else have like a board for their future wedding mine's private <laughs> but I have boards for everything I'll even show you my private ones but I have like like journal stuff this inspires me to start journaling even though I don't really journal that much my vlogmas board stuff let's let's look on it and see if like a lot of the stuff came true i feel like i did a lot of this like this was stuff that i oh my god i literally went to something exactly like that i never ended up going ice skating that's so sad it's one of my favorite things to do but we made cookies we made gingerbread houses i never made the cinnamon rolls oh my god we just like run out of time oh i got those exact reindeer things the santa hats classic oh i need to watch harry potter usually i do that on christmas eve though so we still have time for that um i have my dinner party from when i had my birthday party this is what i like was based off of and honestly my birthday party looked exactly like all this <laughs> and i'm so happy with how my birthday party turned out and honestly like you could t you could have told me that that was a picture of me and i would have believed you because my birthday looked exactly like that apartment inspiration which this is stuff like I actually bought. I kind of gave up on decorating my apartment, but this was the vibe before I moved. I made this board to send to my brothers to show them how to dress when we were traveling. I was like, when we go to Europe, you need to dress good. And then they ended up dressing good because of my board. Or I like to tell myself it was because of my board. I have winter fashion, summer fashion, and then I have like my dream life in general. Relationship goals, my own pictures, Instagram inspiration, hair inspiration. Let's make one. This here create okay i don't even know how vision board really works i'm like i don't even know what this year is gonna be i'm gonna scroll on my home feed for a little bit like i know this year 
is going to be spent in Charleston because my lease is till September. So at least until then, I do want to travel in the summer and go to places I've never been before and like different kind of vibes. Like I, I, I usually do like the beachy summers, especially like beachy Europe summer. So I want to do like a little bit different, like not as a beach vibe. I still love the beach though. So I'm going to end up there. You know, I am. I have a few goals I want to achieve. I just have a few things that I'm going to add to this vision board and I hope it all comes true. Am I going to put pictures of relationships? Yes, of course I am. I also just want to have like a very cozy, peaceful, like content year. Like that's my goal for 2024 is like peace and friendship. Like that's like my main goal. So let's find stuff to add. Guys, I just love Pinterest so much. It is definitely the, by far the most so superior social media app and i truly believe that it doesn't even count as social media like, it makes me feel so inspired like every time i go on here i'm like i need to romanticize my life even more than i already do <laughs> okay i've added a few pins or actually more than a few i was like going through my list of new year's resolutions and also just like kind of scrolling and seeing whatever caught my eye so what i have so far you guys can like go on my pinterest if you want to like see the exact things but i put some quotes just like friendship pictures i really need to start drinking more water so i put that journaling skincare going on walks friends i really want to go on a boat this summer i don't know some just other random stuff having a boyfriend going on dates just all the other stuff i really need to organize my closet obviously books vlogging reading having a boyfriend <laughs> journaling and kind of having a planner like keeping my life organized playing the piano more baking i really want to get more into cooking i put cute quotes just reading and relaxing just like overall just really chill but also fun i'm gonna keep adding to this probably throughout the whole year honestly and then we'll see how the year turns out if it looks anything like my vision board we can reconvene at the end of 2024 i can't believe it's gonna be 2024 because when i was a kid i used to tell everyone like oh i can't wait for 2024 because 24 is my lucky number and it was so far away and now it's 2024 in like a week I'm actually speechless because I remember when I used to say that and I thought it was like a year that was never gonna come Like it was so far in the future and now it's here Like the fact that I vividly remember my probably like eight-year-old self in 2009 saying I can't wait for 2024 Like that makes me feel like I have to live the best year ever now. Okay, I need to take off my makeup now and also I realized I literally earlier today I had two things I wanted to get done today, which was Watch my life with the Walter boys, as if that's something to get done. <laughs> if you put perfume on before bed, you get me. But um, anyway, watch my life with the Walter boys and wrap my family's Christmas presents. I did neither of those things. I just find it really hard when I'm doing things all day. I was out shopping with my brothers and then we went right to my cousin's house and it was with my family. Like after that, I just feel so like socially just drained in general where i'm just like i just don't even want to do anything <laughs> like i made a pinterest board it's not enough i just feel so burnt out after days where i like <laughs> this sounds bad because it's not like being around my family is draining but like after days where i'm talking to a lot of people and just like social in general or like do more than two things in a day i'm just like i'm done i just need to lay in my bed and read or like rot like i don't want to do anything also my allergies are so bad right now unrelated note but like taking my makeup off and rubbing my eye feels so good because i haven't been allowing myself to itch my eyes because i know i'm gonna wake up and they're gonna be so swollen if i do like they're already so swollen like look at my eye and that's totally on me because i know i'm allergic to my dog and i still literally rub my face all over him <laughs> not actually but like pretty much i might as well rub my face all over him I literally like hold him and hug him and literally let him lay in my bed <laughs> and then i'm miserable am i gonna change anything no just gonna suffer through it so yeah i'm just like not feeling it today was just like not i don't know is anyone else like that though like if you have more than two things in a day especially if one of them requires being social you're like that's all i can do for the rest of the day like i'm done <laughs> i mean i could have easily just laid in bed and watched my life with the walter boys but then i was like oh but i'm gonna have to talk about it in the vlog and i like just feel too drained to do that like i just am having an off day i'm really surprised though that like it's day 21 
of vlogmas and i literally haven't felt at all like oh i have nothing to vlog or i don't want to vlog i haven't felt like that at all until today i just like felt like today i was like not in the mood and also i just am re i'm really really bad at vlogging with people and around people even my family like, it's just like so awkward to me and i just like would rather be in the moment and like like today at my cousin's house we had so much fun i was there for like three hours four hours it was like my aunts my uncles my grandparents my cousin my siblings my parents we we're all just like telling stories and laughing and reminiscing i didn't film anything because i was just like living in the moment like what am i gonna do pull out my camera and like put it in my grandma's face as she's telling a story like i don't know i feel like it's getting harder and harder to film stuff now that i'm home which i knew it was gonna be but i feel like it's a lot harder now that i'm home and we're seeing family i don't know what i'm gonna do like the next few days like the 23rd and the 24th like what am i gonna film when i'm with my family all day it's stressing me out especially christmas eve like i don't i don't know we're gonna have to see how it goes but i'm so surprised that it's day 21 and i'm like i'm still going strong this has been such an experience okay it's time for the question of the day and i just literally went on and the most recent comment on the video was a question i just decided you know what i'm gonna answer that because i'm so tired it's from at lex torres 2005 and she said would you ever date someone your brothers didn't like and i thought that was a funny question because like i've thought about this so many times because whoever i marry they're also like marrying into my family which is like so crazy to think about and also whoever my brothers marry those are gonna be like my sister-in-laws so like we have to all like each other like we have to all like each other and if we don't like then what but i also feel like i'm someone who can get along with anybody if they have like the same like moral compass as me <laughs> like if that makes sense i'm very adaptable and because me and my brothers have like similar like views and opinions i think whoever they marry they'll hold to that same standard so i'll be able to get to get along with whoever they are you know like i don't think they're just gonna like marry some like crazy lady who has like all these opinions i don't agree with and i think she's really annoying like i just like don't think that would happen but anyway the question was would i date someone my brothers didn't like and yes like i would date whoever i wanted but if my brothers met him and they didn't like him it would definitely raise like alarm bells in my head or like red flags and i'd be like okay like what is the problem then but my brothers are the same way like they get along with anyone especially if it's someone like i like i'm definitely like the most like picky i'd say or not even picky but i think i'm like <laughs> I was gonna say judgmental but that's not true i'm just definitely the most like i hold people to like a, uh, a certain standard that i feel like my brothers like would like whoever it is like it, i'm not gonna bring someone home who's like not easy to get along with and, like not likable like i feel like any guy i like if they can get through my test my family would also like them but like if i bought brought someone home my brothers didn't like him and they i would i wouldn't like break up with him over it at the end of the day they don't have a say in my relationship but it would be very concerning and i would be like okay can you guys like work it out because in the future like me and my brothers have this plan where like there's gonna be like a lake and we all live around this lake and then we'll all meet up with each other and then all of our kids are gonna like grow up being friends and all of our spouses have to be friends and like we have to be friends with each other's spouses because like we're all gonna be living in close proximity and like hang out and have barbecues and like ride on our boats i've also talked about this with my best friend adriana and like whoever you marry i have to like him like i'm not even kidding i have to and whoever i marry has to also like your husband like they have to be best friends because we need to just be like a super family like we're gonna combine your siblings and my siblings and we're gonna make a super family with all of our spouses and all of our kids whatever whatever happens so everyone has to get along okay like we will go to therapy if we have to because why aren't you guys getting along what is the issue they're like i feel like all of us though we just have like i said we all have very similar outlooks on life and like i think we attract and are attracted to like the same kind of vibe of person i don't think like any of us are gonna bring home someone that we wouldn't like also i feel like my my siblings and i are the same way where like we can get along with anyone we like everyone unless you give a reason not to like them you know i thought that was a funny question because it's so it's just so weird like you never know like those people are gonna be in your life forever and you have no choice over it what imagine my brothers marry some girl and like the girl's like impossible to get along with like she hates me and we're always fighting i mean i would not fight with her because i don't fight with anyone because i hate confrontation i also am someone me and my siblings are the same way where we don't like confrontation we don't like arguing we're not going to start fights we're not like problematic people we're not confrontational people like there's nothing's gonna happen like nothing i feel like it's very hard 
for us to like not get along with someone like and all of my brother's friends that they have like i like and i get along with i feel like we have similar taste in people so i'm not too worried about that but i have thought about it a lot because it is crazy it is really weird to think about and like i in an ideal world my brothers marry like really cool perfect girls that get to be like my built-in best friends like our kids are gonna be cousins our kids are gonna be cousins like they're related whoever they choose I'm basically related to. I am related to. My kids are literally related to. God, is insane. Yeah, that's my answer of the question of the day, but that's gonna be the end of today's video. I'm sorry it wasn't a very fun one and it wasn't very long, honestly. I feel like this is gonna be the shortest video ever, but it's so hard. We're on day 21, guys. Like, it's getting harder and harder to like be able to keep going and doing interesting stuff, but it's getting closer to Christmas, so it's okay. <laughs> But with all that being said, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye!